Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Responsive Web Design Certificate at FreeCodeCamp.org. Uh, a little bit about its strengths, its weaknesses. I, as you can see here, I just finished mine up uh, yesterday actually and uh, built out the projects. I've gone through all the uh, the coursework. Actually, a couple times I did the beta like twice back in the day and uh, some of the coursework carried over from when they had their front end uh, like 500 hour one that's no longer available that they sort of deprecated. but. I've gone through the coursework. I, um, I'm going to share my thoughts on it. I'm also going to uh, give you some uh, tips on how to progress after this fact, right? I see a lot of you guys sharing your free code camp responsive web design certificate in like our um, code tech and caffeine Facebook group. And that's really exciting and cool. I just want to make sure everyone's uh, progressing and, and going on to the next best thing after that. So let's go ahead and talk about it. I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you're interested in getting going with full stack web development, iOS development, maybe quality assurance, Salesforce, or UI UX, Dev Mountain has a variety of programs. Their on site boot camps come with, tuition, with their tuition housing as well. So you can get up and go and get started today, not to mention their online and after hours programs for those of you that are working. Check them out at devmountain.com. All right, so if you're new to Free Code Camp, chances are you probably started with the Responsive Web Design Certification. They usually tell you to go in order. You don't have to, depending on where your skill level at. They estimate it's about 300 hours of work, and I think that might be a little bit of overestimation, but uh, I wouldn't say it's beyond the realm of possibility, right? If you've never written any sort of web dev before, you've never, you've never worked in code, markup languages, anything like that, then for you to master this content, 300 hours seems like an appropriate amount of time. Uh, and, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised that's there. But, uh, you know, if you're already a developer like me, you can knock it out pretty quick, right? But that this is, I feel like these time estimations are purely for there. And so if you took a little bit longer, all right, cool, man. Take as much time as you need. But if you took a little shorter, that's good as well. So let's talk about the pure bulk of the content. There's really uh, four sections here at the end of the day. They have some other sections. You know, there's HTML, CSS, and then Flexbox and CSS Grid. This applied accessibility, it's nice. Uh, and this responsive web design principles are is good. Not to say they're not, but they're they're all both those could sort of fall into CSS in my opinion. Um, so the HTML and HTML5, if your goal is to be in web dev, you pretty much are going to have to be a master of HTML and CSS. There's just no way around it. It's a, it's sort of the building blocks of the internet at the end of the day. And, um, you know, as new technologies grow, nothing I really see is going to be replacing HTML and CSS. There's really no way around it at this time. So, uh, when getting started here, if you want to work in the front end, you're going to have to get com comfortable with HTML, CSS. And I think they introduce you to quite a bit. That's just something that I think they, they added quite a few elements, uh, quite a few items on here. Now, there's some room for growth here, and I, I, I wish they... I wish they did go a little bit deeper in the CSS and in the, um, hmm, I guess I missed that one, in the um, HTML. But the things that I really appreciate about this course is the Flexbox and CSS Grid section. Because when I'm interviewing candidates in the front end, um, one thing that I always ask them is, Hey, what are you know? What are some, what's something new that you learned? What are ways to handle natively responsive design? The reason I ask that is I want to know if they're up to date because I want candidates who are always learning. That's what I'm looking for, and so I'm glad that they have this in there because I think one of the benefits you can have as someone getting into the industry is learning the latest and the greatest. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to figure out how to handle older technologies and work with that, but. Um, you know, working with the the reason new stuff comes out is usually it solves an issue in the past. And CSS, Flexbox, and Grid it helps make responsive design and just design really much easier and quicker development. And um, there's some some very big pros to that. So um, although I think the HTML and CSS section is a little bit limited, and I think that the concepts of there's a couple concepts in here that I really wish was focused on more that isn't and that is a couple things understanding um so there, there's 
there's a few concepts in CSS that I think if you can understand about these three, you'll have a much better handle on CSS. Because the hey, this changes the color. This um, this adds um, you know, a background. Those things are easy to understand. But having a baseline understanding of and the reason I'm sharing this that it's not a free code camp of course I think there's X for the most part an excellent introduction to a lot of these things but I want you to get better I want you to progress and so hey Tito I want you to uh, sorry my cats jumping up mid video I want you to um, continue to grow and get better right because the value of these certificates is not the paper it's not that you have a certificate the value is in the learning which you build projects you become a better developer and you continue to grow so um, where I would say that a large portion is missing in the CSS section is that I think a better baseline understanding of the CSS box model and how all those works how the element works how the padding works how the margin works how the um, the border works and how that spacing in there works together and understanding a little bit more in detail the the different uh, display types such as inline and block and really being able to break that down um, and uh, inline block and and uh, also uh, positioning I think if you can tackle those three things those are some major gaps that they have in the CSS aspect here now they do talk about them but not as much as in detail and I think they could have gone a little bit more in detail about HTML and you know at, at the end of the day it's not up to them to teach you everything but while you're at it you might as well teach everything you know what I mean like while you're out there that, there's not that much to learn in HTML I know if you're new it may feel a little bit overwhelming and that's to be expected but there's not a ton to learn when it comes to just HTML a lot of times it's just this is what a this is what a an H1 is this is what an anchor tag there's but even some of those items I feel like were left out and we could have dove a little bit deeper into those but I I do think they give you a baseline introduction and one thing that you're gonna have to get comfortable with as a developer is that you're gonna have to get comfortable looking and seeking out further knowledge and seeking out questions and not and asking questions even right so um, if if most of you come from a traditional uh, education background you are just you do what the teacher tells you to do and that's it um, because you got seven other classes as a professional it's up to you to grow and learn and you know that's why I tell people people ask what are some great resources to learn I recommend free code camp I also recommend other things because what's necessarily focused in this responsive web design certification it is going to be what you know the uh, Quincy and his team thinks is important what's maybe in this Udemy course is going to cover some of the same, same important things but might introduce you to other things that, that you'll remember next time so um, you know responsive uh, web designs understanding media queries is um, probably another thing that I think a lot of people need to um, uh, need to do is going to be but uh, I think media queries are something people need to get more comfortable with and how they work and I love again I love the fact that they introduce you to Flexbox and CSS Grid um, some people may be a little bit worried about using CSS Grid and Flexbox because um, older versions of Edge doesn't support Grid um, but for the most part I don't think you have anything to worry about and uh, when it comes to the projects I think they're they're very doable projects when you get going here um, and now with the Free Code Camp's new setup where they they have like tests hey did you do this do this do that it gives you a chance to see how you might break out a project and you know get you going and I think that's something that's pretty cool that they've set up and um, you know I, I highly recommend that you you know you do these projects because that's how you learn but don't just stop there you know build these out and you know maybe put a little certificate on your on your resume on your LinkedIn something like that but the next step from here is to not only fill in those CSS gaps and you know talk about pseudo selectors and um, pseudo um, pseudo classes in like CSS and getting more comfortable with that and and um, actually oh cool I used the grid and I used flexbox and that's one thing I, I would kind of maybe criticize these responsive web design uh, projects is um, you know hopefully you went above and beyond and you you use the the grid and the flexbox and uh, as much as you could just to get familiar with it and how it works and 
you know um but at the end of the day they're not here to hold your hand that you're here to learn and you should be putting the effort in but i think the projects are a cool thing and i like that the final one is a personal portfolio page because i think that's something every dev should really have and i say this as somebody who kind of doesn't have one but i use my i use my youtube channel uh, <laughs> it's kind of my personal portfolio so i'm a bit of a hypocrite in all honesty but um all in all um, I'd probably rate the course like a 7 out of 10. I think it covers a lot of important stuff, and I think there's there's a little bit of a... Uh, I like that it covers newer stuff, but I think it could have divin dove deeper a bit in the CSS and HTML, and um, maybe I'll actually go in there and add the things I think it should cover, and um, it'll help some people out along the way. But I do think it is one worth your time, and I think it's a... I think at the very least... It is something that you you know you're gonna you, this is your first this is your first um, dive into uh, the front end. It's an excellent starter block of hey here's some HTML here's some CSS let's get up and going and I think that's I think that's where it really shines. So maybe I'll give it eight out of ten. It doesn't really matter. I think it, I like free code camp in general, but I uh, there's always room for improvement, which is why we always need to get be lifelong learners and get better, right? So, um, anyhow, guys, that's my that's my two cents on the responsive web design certification. I uh, already did the JavaScript algorithms one. I gotta go finish one or two projects in the front end libraries. Uh, what do I got left here? I got two left that I have to do. I think I already built this one, never submitted it. So, <laughs> um, I uh, probably just have the one. But yeah, so um, I'll probably be reviewing that one next when I'm when I'm done with it. So as always, guys, if you're interested in any of my courses, you can uh, check them out in the description below and help me out. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.